go of the controls. It's just flying itself. Okay, so here's a quick video of my uh, my new FPV design. Now, if somebody had asked me, I've, I've actually been getting a lot of requests for plans for my slow flying FPV plane, and there were a number, number of problems with that plane. Um, a little bit with the flight characteristics, and a little bit with um, you know building it. It's a little complicated for uh, showing how to showing people how to do it on. Um, PDF plans and, and even in a video it could be a little difficult so anyway I wanted to come up with a plane that would fly slow and stable and so what I've done here and is tried to replicate the same wing area that I had with the other slow flying plane so this basically has about the same square area of um, wings uh, you know compared to my ultra slow flying FPV plane and basically that's two sheets of 20 by 30 foam but what I've done is I've made it into a biplane. So I've got two wings. And on those two wings, what I've done is made one, the upper one has dihedral in it, so it gives the plane stability. Uh, the lower one is a flat wing and actually has an airfoil shape to it um, with the foam on here, which is a little bit hard to see in this video. So we've got the uh, battery mounted below the fuselage. So that's below both wings where you mount the battery. And so that's gonna give it nice stability in the air. Now there's a little door right here below the fuselage uh, where you can stuff batteries inside there. Now it is hollow all the way through so you can actually um, put batteries, you can reach the batteries into the in the front or you can reach them in the back. So it's very easy to have access to the batteries. You can stuff just about as many batteries as you want in here. Another cool thing about this plane is that uh, where the batteries are mounted is pretty much right underneath the center of gravity. So you can have as much battery weight as you want and it's not going to affect the CG of your plane. Now this plane is designed to have um, small HD cameras up on the nose here, something like a GoPro or a flip or a, you know whatever your your flavor of small HD camera is it's designed to have the weight on the nose here now you can fly this just by itself by putting just the flying battery right here instead of underneath the fuselage or in the, inside the fuselage underneath the wings if you want to um, and it's still plenty stable like that as well another cool thing about this plane is that the propeller is completely protected it's not in the front to spoil the view of your onboard video and it's not in the back of the plane either for when you come in and you've got a, a tail dragging situation on landing. It's completely in the center of the fuselage or the wing or whatever you want to call it. So it's completely protected. It's never, it doesn't even hit the ground. In fact, you could fly this plane if you want. You could scoot this plane on the ground like an airboat on water because the propeller is never going to hit the ground. All right, so here we go. Uh, version two or three, or I don't know, of the Mikey's RC FPV plane series. So we've got a rudder, uh, quad, quad elevons on this thing because it's a biplane. So we've got some on the back here. We can see that, quad elevons. And uh, plenty of space to mount your cameras up front. So uh, let's put this thing up in the air and see how it does. All right, it does loops real good see how slow we can make this thing fly. Wow, that's pretty slow. Yeah, nice. Look at that. You could get some nice aerial shots with that, huh? Of course, it'll fly pretty fast, too, and do all sorts of, you know, the regular maneuvers, axial rolls, loops. It's got a rudder on it. We can go up here and do, like, a stall, and then, like, spins. And then we'll see how it comes out of it. Yeah, nice recovery. Wow, this thing flies nice and slow. Now it doesn't like to fly upside down too well because it's got all that inherent stability with the dihedral in the wing and the uh, battery mounted real low. So this is something that's good for the slow flying, stable FPV flying and aerial photography shots. You know, if you want something to fly upside down, more aerobatic or holding maneuvers like flying upside down, this might not be the best choice. Now we put some flaps on here and this thing will land just about like a helicopter. Almost. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, the prop does not touch the ground at all. You would have to land this thing upside down to even break a prop. And it's not in the back, 
and it's not in view of the camera. What more could you ask for? Now the cool thing about this plane is you basically just let go of the controls and it's going to correct itself. The thing just flies itself. We're going to put it up, let go of the controls. It's just flying itself. That's not me. Okay, so we got the uh, HD camera on, on board the plane now, and we're going to throw it up in the air, show you how stable this plane can fly. So this was kind of funny. As I was flying around, I uh, looked over and saw what looked to be two Google Street View cars driving around. So I quickly turned my plane and tried to follow them a little bit so that I could get the uh, Google Street View cars in my view. So kind of funny, but there we go. And that's it.